First and foremost, I'd like to welcome Bohemian Football Club to DCU. We are delighted to welcome them on board and we look forward to uh, building a long, collaborative, strong and substantial partnership with Bohemian Football Club into the future. We are delighted that they are coming on board to share our world-class facilities, to help develop a high-performance culture, first and foremost with, their, with Bohemian Football Club women's and men's football teams. From my perspective, it is important, I suppose, to, to point out that uh, as a Director of Sport and Wellbeing, the people aspect of this is hugely important to us. That's developing local community partnerships to help develop, in collaboration with Bohemian Football Club, good working relationships where, whereby we can develop really strong ties with the local community. We are both embedded in this community together. I think it behoves each party to help foster those relationships in order to deliver what is and has the potential to be a world-class collaborative engagement. First and foremost, we're delighted to have struck up a partnership with uh, DCU, a long-term partnership that can secure uh, the future growth of the club in terms of how we train, how we perform. You know, we've come into a high-performance environment here. We've got use of uh, analysis rooms, a high-performance gym, you know, state-of-the-art facilities. So it's, it's a first-class environment for our players to grow, to learn and to improve as players. So to come here to have the partnership with DCU is, you know, in the area, the club is from the area, you know, it's really important to us that we build and try and continue to grow the club. It gives the club great opportunity and great scope to develop, uh, to improve performance levels, to train side by side, which is really important to have uh, some of our younger teams or under 19s or under 17s training alongside the first team. I think that's important for their development and their growth. Coming to DCU gives us a great opportunity as well to improve uh, the sports science um, and the, the medical side of things. So to, to have exposure to, to experts in their fields and in those faculties, I think it's a really uh, important step for us as a club to make. And it will also bring us on and, and again enhance uh, what, we're, what we've tried to do over a number of years and to, to try and uh, to continue to improve performance. This venture starts off a brand new era for the club. We've been through the series where we struggled and we just barely survived. We then stabilised the club and now I think we're in a growth phase and this is the best part of the growth phase, the most important part of the growth phase. To, to link up with DCU, the values that we have are both very, very similar and to work together I think is a fantastic uh, relationship and partnership and thanks very much to DCU for being such a willing partner in, in this proposition. I think this just shows you the strength of a, of a members club and um, it's because all the members pull together in the same direction together with the hundreds of general fans who supported us and our commercial partners who really stuck with us through the difficult times and of course the Gypsy Supporters Trust who are invaluable to the club and always have been. I think they have made all this possible and, and together they should be proud of what they have achieved. Well, we're delighted here in DCU Sport because uh, to welcome Bohemian FC, we've built a world-class facility here, we believe, over the last 16 years. And I think what's great about the partnership now is the shared values, the shared philosophies. Yes, football is the core product of Bohemian FC, but when we look at the values and the philosophies, there's definitely a really good fit. And I think moving forward, if you were to like, for the next 16, 18 years, it's going to be the development of these facilities together to bring them to even higher standard. And um, as the All Blacks say, great people, great players. And I think that with the Bohemian FC people and the DCU people, there's a lot of great people there to make it even better. I'm Daniel Lambert, Chief Operating Officer at Bohemian Football Club. Uh, the partnership that we're announcing with DCU today is a huge milestone for the club. It's, it's fantastic, really, uh, for, lots, for lots of different reasons. First of all, it's, it's an 18 year partnership, so this is something that really is a statement of intent for the future. On the football side of things, we are coming into what is a world class facility. This is the best training facility in League of Ireland. It has a, it's a base now for our, for our teams at various age groups. And what it provides initially is a facility that encompasses a video analysis room, strength and conditioning, recovery areas, uh, our own dressing room, which we feel is, is just a fantastic facility. Um, and there's several phases to this project. Overall, the club is putting in a significant seven-figure sum over the term of the agreement. And the next phase will see us develop uh, player meeting rooms, uh, offices, and physio and other rooms. 
And then um, later on in 2021 and into 2022, we should hear back with a sports capital grant application in, in conjunction with DCU uh, to develop another uh, all weather pitch on, on the site. So that will have us with three full size all weather pitches, uh, grass areas and all the other facilities we mentioned. I think in DCU what we have is a fantastic partner, you know, one of the leading universities in the country, uh, a facility that's only two miles from Daddy Mount Park. And most importantly, we have shared values with DCU, shared ethos and a shared sense of purpose in that we have to provide for the local community in sport and, and, and beyond sport. And in those areas, we would see this covering the facilities and the football side of things, but also social outreach work, two-way academic flow, opportunities that we can offer for academic staff and students, and opportunities that DCU can offer for our staff and our players in terms of development uh, for those people personally and for the team and squad. The partnership has been made possible really due to obviously the improvement in the club's finances over time. Uh, an extremely positive and collaborative approach from Dublin City University and uh, our own board of directors and our own staff and we've really put a lot of time into this. The meetings have been taking place over the past six months, they've been really, really productive and proactive and that's culminated in, the, in this agreement which will last for 18 years. So I think that you know, for us as a club this really marks a turning point. I think it's the biggest thing that the club has entered into really since the development of the Jody Sand and we can see now the building blocks for the future of the club falling into place. This provides a facility, for it's going to be used by thousands of Bohemians players, uh, our work in the community and further afield, but also um, when we look at this in conjunction with the development of Daily Mount Park and the improvement of, of the club in all areas, in men's and women's and youth football and our community work, this is a key cornerstone now for us to build and grow. Just wanted to, to just to say special thanks to a couple of people who really you know put all their energy behind this and made it happen, and um, for Keith Long and his staff in terms of you know laying out their needs in terms of their, their playing facilities and the type of facility that they need, but in particular to James Galvin, to Ken Robinson and to Declan Raftery from Dublin City University, and also to the to the staff in DCC on the uh, facilities management side that they've been really excellent in working with us, and of course the board of directors of the club and all the members really who without this just couldn't be possible.